Municipal and industrial wastewater undergoes various treatment steps in WWTPs before it is released back into rivers and other waterways. In secondary clarifiers, most sludge is collected and recycled back to the aeration basin to generate a stable and productive active sludge for nutrient removal. However, as more and more sludge enters the plant over time and a certain sludge age has to be maintained, some sludge has to be removed from the process. Removed sludge is also known as Waste Activated Sludge WAS. WAS might contain toxic components so that it cannot be released into the environment. Depending on the size of the facility, location and sludge volume, different solid stroke liquid waste management options are available. Smaller plants in rural areas often compost sludge and or use sludge drying beds for dewatering. The remaining sludge cake is either hauled off and disposed in landfills or in case the sludge doesn't contain toxic components, it's used as fertilizer. Sludge drying beds are a low-cost solution for sludge dewatering. However, they require a lot of space and cause odors. Therefore, in areas with a denser population, Sludge is mechanically dewatered, for example, with centrifuges or sludge presses. More people equal more sludge volume. As sludge hauling is expensive and a lot of sludge is available, it makes economically sense to treat the sludge chemically to remove toxic components and to use most of it as fertilizer. Finally, in metropolitan areas with limited space and very high sludge volumes, energy production from WAS is often economically beneficial. In anaerobic digesters, microorganisms break down the organic matter in the sludge and convert parts of it to methane and natural gas. The gas is then burned to either generate electricity or to produce heat. Additionally, Mechanical dewatering might be used to produce fertilizers or to prepare the sludge cake for incarceration, where it's generating more electricity. In the US, about 35% of WAS is used as fertilizers for agriculture, 25% is disposed in landfills, and each 15% is composted or incinerated. The remaining 10% is treated in anaerobic digesters or processed in different ways. Thanks for watching, and if you like our 3-minute tutorials, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up.